know that for some people all around the world, the Lake District is a really special place. If you love the lakes, we imagine you have really missed being here and can't wait to visit again. Visitors are a very important part of life in the lakes. We understand how much visitors love it here because we love it too. This is a place that we all want to enjoy without spoiling what makes it special. So, these are our top tips on how to look after the Lake District. Top tip one, please take your litter home. Litter is a big problem. Did you know that rubbish is dangerous to wildlife? Animals cut themselves on cans and get tangled up in plastics. And it takes 500 years for a plastic bottle to degrade. Top tip two, check you're on the right kind of path. Narrow footpaths are dangerous when bikes try to use them. You need to look out for blue arrows or pictures of bikes if you want to cycle. Bridle waves with blue arrows are okay for bikes, horses and walkers. Yellow arrows mean pedestrians only. Top tip three, not everywhere is open access. It might look a bit like a park, but fields are private workplaces unless you see a footpath sign. If your footpath goes through a field, please follow the path and please shut the gates. Top tip four, keep your dog on a lead. Sheep can suddenly appear anywhere on the fells. Sheep can get scared easily. And they are sensitive, especially when the lamin, which is in late April around here. Dogs can really, really scare them or even hurt them. Top tip five. Keep into the side if you're walking long roads. It's not just farmers who work here. There are lots of people living here doing ordinary things. They're not on holiday. Please let them drive along the roads. Top tip six. And please be careful how you park. Fire engines, ambulances and mountain rescue vehicles are big. And they might need to get through in a hurry. <sighs> The gate's blocked, you have to go round. Top tip seven, please be careful to protect the wildlife. We love just being quiet and listening and looking. These woods and fowls are animals' homes. Some living things are very delicate and they are all precious. Top tip eight, don't light fires. If we are playing or making shelters, we only use dead sticks. Living wood needs to stay alive. And it definitely doesn't burn. So chopping trees down to burn is a really bad idea. In fact, lighting fires is a bad idea. They can spread. Fell fires are terrible for birds with nests. Top tip nine, come prepared. We hope you have a great time exploring the fells. But please make sure you come prepared and leave your flip-flops, parasols, skateboards and party gear at home. And that means bringing the right equipment and making sure you know how to keep yourself safe on the fells. Oh. Hello you three, have you seen anybody up there with a broken ankle? Yeah, he's just up there, he's got really slippery shoes on. Oh, okay, great, thank you. Here are some things that you might need when you go for a walk. A map. A water bottle. A first aid kit. Some extra layers and waterproofs. <laughs> a compass with a whistle. And that's what you might need. Top tip 10. Take your time. Have a paddle. Watch the birds and the clouds. And just enjoy being here. Remember, respect, protect, enjoy. Welcome to the Lake District.